as you can see, I've got the generator has arrived, <coughs> and I pulled all the panels off it. The panels are all made out of plastic, and they all go on with exactly the same sort of screw arrangement, self-tapping screw. And so it's very easy just to whip off all the side panels. So when you compare working on a motor like this to working on something like a diesel engine in the boat, the first thing is you can put it on the table at a good height and actually get at it. And because all the panels come off, you can work on all sides of the motor. And it's very easy to take it home and work on it. So it's really it's really a, a, a very small frame generator with panels enclosed in panels. So it's not a suitcase generator at all, it's actually a frame generator. And I have heard that uh, the suitcase generators are difficult to work on, difficult to get at the various components. And so this solves that problem. Everything is easy to access. And I haven't started it yet because you've got to put oil in it and petrol and all that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to assume that it works until I'm ready to actually test it out on the boat, really. So... It's very lightweight and it's got enough weight, it's got nice rubber feet and wherever you put it, it just stays. So as long as that fits the back of the bow, which it looks like it might do, if it doesn't I'll have to build a little platform on the back of the bow. It should just sit in place. And there is actually on the handle, I'll show you the handle. There is actually a place where you could put a rope around quite nicely. You'll see there's a groove in the handle here and it should be quite easy to put a rope around and some eye bolts down to the floor and that should hold it in place. Not that it needs it really, but it, it probably be better to do that at sea. And also when you've got your cover on top, you can put the cover, you can put that on top of the cover and that will stop the cover from blowing off, hold the cover in place and hold the generator in place. So that should work out quite well. This is the exhaust here and it is possible to have a pipe on the exhaust here. You can see here, have a, a proper exhaust pipe. So it's not recommended that you use these inside. So I don't know if that could be made to run inside the engine bay, bay where the engine bay is. I don't know. It's something to consider. But if it could be running the engine bay, it would be quite nice to actually have it in there. It isn't recommended, but I, I will certainly do my research before I completely discount that idea. Maybe you need a carbon monoxide sensor. If you had a carbon monoxide sensor and an exhaust pipe, it would probably be all right. There's plenty of space. It wouldn't be in an enclosed space um, the way it might overheat. There's plenty of space in that area. And there's also a little door in the engine compartment. So this could take the place of the engine in my boat eventually. We'll see. some pieces from eBay have arrived and there's two of these and this is really to monitor the motor and how many amps it's drawing and the reason there's two of them is because these are only capable of measuring 
how much is flowing in one direction. I'll just get my cup of drink. Yeah, so although we've got solar power coming in and charging the battery at the same time as we've got power coming out of the battery and being used by the equipment, we can't measure this with one of these. We need two of them. And so the other one is to connect between the solar panel and the solar charge controller. And so that will measure how many amps coming into the system on the solar panel and the watt hours and so on and the accumulated amount over a period of time so you'll be able to see uh, if you turn it off and on it will then reset the machine I've got almost switches on both of these and so you can then start it off and say monitor it over a period of so many hours or whatever to see all the day to see how many cumulative amp hours you've got coming in off the solar panels and similarly on the on the motor the trolling motor now in order to be able to use the meter on both the battery to monitor what's coming out of the battery to the trolling motor and also when I'm connected to the generator what's coming out of that system all that's required is to make sure that this is this is mounted at the last point before the trolling motor. And so as we switch between the two systems, so this then also switches as well. So that we're measuring the generator output and also the battery output to the motor. Okay, I just thought that explain why you need two of these if you want to monitor both sides of the equation. Okay, I'm going to enjoy my cup of hot chocolate now. And at the moment I don't feel like rushing off to the boat. There's plenty of things to do, tidying up around the place, sorting the car out and so on. But I think I'll be back at the boat probably on Sunday. Thanks for watching.